Hey, what's going on? I'm here with the missus. We're in Michigan and we just stopped at a gun shop and it was called Michigan Gun Exchange. And I think it was Scott in there. It's a pretty cool guy. We're on a road trip. I didn't mention that today. No. So we're on a road trip. Uh, Amy's uncle passed away and so we're here in Michigan and um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about traveling with a firearm and, uh, and just checking out some stuff. What do you think, Bob? Awesome. Hey there, New Gun Nation. My name is Troy, and this past year, my wife Amy and I joined the ranks of 8.4 million people that bought their first firearm. Yeah, you heard me right. Over 8 million Americans bought their first gun in 2020. We didn't get into shooting just because of the craziness in the world. See, Amy and I were looking for something to do together as a couple, and boy, did we find it. Guns have gotten a bad rap, but in the hands of law-abiding citizens, they can be fun and empowering. I'm stoked you're joining us on this journey as we grow together in the new gun nation. We're here in Michigan. I think this is Stevensville. Um, and uh, so I want to take a minute to talk about what we're doing for firearms when we're traveling, because that's kind of a big deal if you have a concealed carry in a state you can use it in another state uh, other states like when we drove down we went through Wisconsin and then I knew in Illinois that I couldn't leave my vehicle with my firearm so I locked it up in a lockbox I'll show you some footage of that uh, this lockbox I got for 20 bucks at Harbor Freight and it's a simple key operated one so anyway um, it's important to know the laws. Fun fact, uh, it looks like Michigan has way more concealed carry permits here than we do in Minnesota. They also have a, um, their laws are a little different. They have a stand your ground law, which means you don't have to try to flee. In Minnesota, you basically have to try to avoid it, uh, conflict at all cost. Um, here, not so much. In other words, if somebody comes up on you, you don't have to try to back away from them. You can do whatever you need to do to protect your life and your families. So, uh, all in all, uh, I would say Michigan's, at least the southern southwest part of Michigan, I'm told, is a little more conservative. It's, it's pretty cool. I did a search for gun shops in the area, and there were 10 of them within 20 miles. Uh, so, I'm impressed so far. I'm not saying I'm moving here. Um, but it is definitely different. And man, if you live in Illinois, I feel bad for you. I'm just going to say it. You are not a free state. A person should be able to carry their firearm anywhere in this country, in my humble opinion, because it is a Second Amendment right. It is not a state right. All right, enough with my rant. Uh, i got to go to a funeral. Hey, what's up? I'm back here in Minnesota. Uh, at my favorite, one of my favorite, uh, it's not really a gun shop, it's a camping place, and they have this ginormous flag, which I've pointed out a few times, and I was just thinking about um, the funeral that we went to in Michigan. Uh, Amy's uncle was in the military, served our country proud, and there was a moment where they explained what the American flag, the colors were, and I think I'm going to include it in the video, because I'm not like... Captain America with like like flags on my shirts and stuff, but I do think it's important to remember why our country is founded and how it was founded and to not forget the sacrifice that men and women before us um, made. So anyway, I'm kind of rambling, but it's good to be back in Minnesota, land of the semi-free. And uh, I'm going to go check and see if they got some ammo in here. Uh, but I just saw the flag and thought about that ceremony and uh, wanted to share. I think I'm going to close this video out with the conversation about the flag. Blessings. The flag. This banner of love and devotion now being folded is a living memorial of the courageous thoughts of our comrade, the one you came here to honor today. The field of blue represents the sky that overlooks our land and denotes the watchfulness of God, the internal. The red stripes 
Tell us of the blood, sweat, and tear that had been offered and conquered by our comrades' devotion to the responsible freedom of this country. The white stripes proclaim the peace that he helped to bring to our future generations. This is the flag under which our comrade and our friend served.